Hi everyone. Hi everyone. You asked for it, we're bringing it. Harvest videos and garden to table recipes. Today we are gonna harvest some tomatoes and peppers and make a delicious, easy garden fresh salsa. All in one video. So let's do this. First off, we have a beautiful Golden Jubilee tomato, one of my absolute favorites. Look at this, Jerry. Isn't that wow. gorgeous? Yeah, that is. So look at that color. Yellow tomatoes are super sweet and they're gonna be delicious in our salsa. So let's go ahead and clip this one off. I so get Jerry, to do I'm it. I'm gonna hold the tomato. Okay. And you're gonna clip that stem right there. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and we have a lot more coming on here. So we'll have to do another harvest video as those get ripe. Now you know when a tomato is ripe, number one, when it's the color that it's supposed to be, and this is obviously golden. Another way you can tell it's ripe is if you just squeeze it a little bit and you have a little bit of give in your tomato. So this will add some really nice color to our fresh salsa. Here we've got some ripe tomatoes. These are the large red cherry from the tomato seed collection that I have on my website. And camera guy, we are just gonna pull these babies off. The red ones? The red ones. Pull or Oh yeah, yeah just came right off. Those ones are, <laughs> are so small. Um, so we've got some more bright oh, red ones down here. Look at that. Those are so pretty. And there's another one right behind it. And these are growing on the ladder mesh trellis, which a lot of you guys saw in my and six crops to more. plant in August video. And just Google ladder mesh and you'll, you'll find a link for it. I'll also put a link in the video description, but I got mine at Home Depot about a year ago. Look at that, Hopefully they guys. still have it. And make sure you ask in the contractor's department. Oh, one more. Oh, one more. We've got oh my gosh, there's a bunch over there. A bunch over here. Cool. It's so much fun to harvest what we're going to eat tonight from the garden grocery store, isn't it? Well, next we've got some peppers over here. We're going to make a mix of sweet and hot salsa because I like it hot. Camera guy likes it mild. So right over here, we've got a couple different varieties of peppers. But over here, I believe this is a hot banana pepper. So why don't you go ahead and clip those off. Oh, Aren't clip. those beautiful? I love the color on these banana peppers. Doesn't matter how close to it I get. No, it doesn't. You're good. When you're harvesting peppers, um, sometimes peppers will change color on the plant. So don't be too concerned about that. Pick some at different colors and then see what you like. The longer you leave them on the plant though, the hotter they'll get. So watch out for that. So here's a perfect example of a pepper in the middle of changing colors. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. You've got the yellow up here, you've got the red down at the bottom, and if the longer you leave this pepper on the plant, it's gonna become more red or more orange and a little bit hotter. Okay. So we can go ahead and harvest this one. That is so pretty. Just be careful not to cut too many of the leaves there. So beautiful. Now you don't wanna yank peppers off the plant because pepper stems are, let's leave that one, Jerry. I think that can go a little bit longer, but the yellow ones at the bottom are good but you never want to yank peppers off the plant because pepper stems are very fragile and you could end up damaging the plant Whoops. if you do that. A little help. That's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one's huge. Oh wow, that one is, is so, so good? pretty. Yes, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That is gonna be delicious in our salsa. Gorgeous. And we may even have to freeze some of these. You can pop these in a freezer bag hole to save them or you can pickle them too, which I'm excited about trying as well. We don't have tons of full-size tomatoes yet. We have a lot of cherry tomatoes. Ooh. We're gonna have a lot of full-size tomatoes in about a month. But here we do have wow. three or maybe two solar fire tomatoes. Now the solar fire is a heat tolerant tomato. And you can tell Jerry, this one here is not quite ripe because yeah. do you see how it's not light colored red? Yeah. Exactly, light color. So hopefully uh, the rats won't get that one before Ooh, it gets ripe. One. But the ones down here are beautiful and red and ripe. And we are gonna take both of those tonight for our salsa. Now I'm not super happy with the performance of the solar fire in this spot. I just don't think it's getting mm. enough sun, but hey, it's given us two beautiful red tomatoes. How about this guy? What do you think? Oh, I think it looks perfect. It's beautiful. Look at that sunlight right on it. Oh, so, so pretty. I love garden fresh tomatoes. If you if you're just now harvesting your very first garden fresh tomatoes, what a treat. So leave me a comment and let us know how you are enjoying your garden fresh tomatoes this summer. Our harvest basket is looking really, really good. Yes, it is. We've got some peppers over here to harvest. This is where we grow most of our peppers because it's the only place in my garden that gets full sun all day long. <laughs> so typically I like to use the small tomato cages to support the peppers. Now you can see this one here, I've been a little bit negligent 
it's fallen over, I need to put a cage in, but these peppers are ready. These are sweet banana peppers getting tangled up in my watermelon vine back here. So Jerry, if you want to hand me the scissors, I'll just go ahead and yeah. clip this one off. All you. Sweet bananas are so delicious. You see that beautiful yellow color, but I definitely do need to be support. I have been dying to harvest this pepper and actually Look saving at this it thing. for this video. Oh my gosh. It's mammoth. <laughs> this <laughs> is an Escamillo pepper. It's an All America Selections oh winner. My gosh. Isn't that a beauty? I think we can make a whole bunch of salsa with that one. Beautiful and orange. This is a sweet pepper. And I'll put a link to the All America Selections website so you guys know where to pick up seeds. Oh, this is so, I so I might have pretty. to get my bolt cutters for this. I know, it's crazy. And there's a lot more green ones on the plant as well. So once we pick this, oh my goodness, look at that pepper. Oh that gosh. is absolutely gorgeous. That is. Look at the size of that thing. Now, as we move around to the other side of the pepper planter, I have got to show you guys the cantaloupe and watermelon here. Now, the plant, unfortunately, is not looking too good. It had a bout of powdery mildew, so I had to trim off a bunch of leaves. But these melons are getting ready to harvest, so make sure you subscribe. We'll be, we'll be doing a harvest video very soon. Ooh, that'll be fun. On the cantaloupe and watermelons, one of my very favorite things to grow. Oh, my goodness. This one it already came off the vine. Look at this. Oh, this did? one is ready. I was not expecting nice. to do a cantaloupe harvest. Cantaloupe are ready to harvest when they slip very easily from the vine. And this one is ready. Can you see how the color is a nice kind of light brown, yes, yellowish color? I'm that. really glad I noticed this because otherwise it might have rotted out here. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. That is. These are huh. all from my melon seed collection. It's the very first year that I've grown this. I believe it's a honey rock variety going to be a ton of fun to eat with our salsa tonight. And I just got a whiff of this. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it does. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Oh, it smells really good. It really does. I was not expecting all that from <laughs> this that. Is so much fun <laughs> to come out to our garden and pick yeah. these things. Let me know if you're growing melons mm. or, or uh, the sugar baby <laughs> melon or the cantaloupe with my melon seed collection. I would love to hear your results as well. It reminds me of Hawaii. I don't know why. It just has a, a tropical smell. It does. Yeah. Even since we filmed our July garden tour a week ago, this apple tomato plant has grown like crazy, you guys. These tomatoes down here are sizing up. This is going to be ready probably, ooh, I, I want to say maybe in another month or so, we're going to have a ton of tomatoes off this plant. Would you look at the size of this? This is going to be beautiful. We've got a good amount of tomatoes and peppers for our garden fresh salsa. Every salsa though needs onions. Now we're not growing any onions in our garden this year, but we do have some onion chives, which will give it a nice kind of oniony type of flavor. So you just make do with what you have and eat what you have ready to pick, right? Yep. So here we've got some chives growing. Chives are, are, are a perennial herb, super easy to grow and they're holding up very well to the heat here. Typically they do better in the cool weather. So we are just going to give our chives a little haircut and they're going to grow back in a week or so. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold up a bunch here, Jerry, oh, okay. and you are just going to cut about right, right about at that level. Okay. It might look severe, but believe me, it does me, feel severe. I'm actually very, grow back. very nervous doing this, but you said it was okay, so I'm trusting you. It's okay. They will All grow right. like crazy. In fact, cutting most herbs makes them grow even more. There it is, Beautiful. folks. Now get a whiff of those. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, the sights oh my and the colors gosh. out here. Garden fresh all the way. So let me know what wow. your favorite smell in yeah, the garden is. That's incredible. Wonderful, huh? Yeah. Around the front of the pepper planter, I have another California wonder pepper plant. I just can't get enough of those. Now this one is supported with this ladder trellis. This is by Gardener's Supply. You can actually stack them three high for tomatoes or just use one by itself for eggplant and peppers. I just love the beautiful red color pop. And just wait till these California Wonder Peppers ripen up to the beautiful red color. It is gonna be so, so beautiful. So we're not gonna pick these today. We'll have to come back and do that on another harvest video. Now over here, we have some Ikebon eggplant. Now I'm not gonna put eggplant in our salsa. We'll probably grill it up maybe tomorrow, yep. but it's ready to harvest. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. Now Ikebon wow. or eggplant are ready to harvest when they're in nice 
kind of shiny purple color. See how see it has that. a really nice sheen, sheen to it? That's right. And you can just clip the stem there to harvest them. Really easy to harvest. Now these we've been harvesting quite a bit from this season. And I'm hoping this plant, there's another one over here, Jerry, that's ready. Is that good? Oh man, Cut that right looks, there? yeah, right there. Okay. Now, unfortunately, this plant does have a little bit of spider mite damage on the leaves. See how it's kind of silvery and spotted there? I had to trim a bunch of leaves off of it, so I'm hoping that the plant makes it. Uh, is there another one over there, Jerry? No. A little tiny bad. one here. Yeah. Take it? Yeah, let's go ahead and take okay. that one. I know it's kind of small, but it looks like nice and shiny, like it's ready to roll. I see yeah. the sheen. Sheen is good. Now along our harvesting way here, I have got to show you guys the progress of the Hersa Govac tomato. Even since our July garden tour last week, mm -hmm. this tomato has grown, I wanna say maybe six inches or so just this week. Look at this massive, massive stem. Yep. It's growing beautifully in the 20 gallon smart pots. And the flowers just popped out this week. This is a giant tomato. It grows giant tomatoes and it has giant tomato flowers. Those are just beautiful flowers. I'm expecting us to get tomatoes anytime soon, probably. And we just put a brand new cage in here this week. Gardeners sent me this Titan tomato cage to try out. It looks nice and sturdy. I think it's gonna hold the tomato up pretty well. Yeah, it looks like it is. I like them. I love it. So I've just been shaking this to move the pollen around in the flowers, and I'm hoping to get some really giant tomatoes on this very soon, so stay tuned. Now over here, we've got some hot peppers. Ooh. Jerry, you gonna eat one? No. Oh, come on. Uh -uh. For our viewers. Nope. Do it for them. Sorry, love you guys, but not going to happen. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. Well, I wouldn't want to eat one either. I mean, in the salsa, it's fine. But here, unfortunately, I do not know the name of this pepper. Mm. Lost my label, but let's go ahead and harvest. Okay. Uh, let's just do this one. This one's kind of starting to turn here. See that? Okay. So I think we'll leave the other one on a little bit longer. But I know it's hot because we grilled a couple of them up already. And I think you accidentally ate one and <laughs> told me it was way too hot for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that day. Oh my I goodness. That. that looks lovely. It does. Now a couple of others right over here and I'm going to check my tag to see what kind these are. Am I cutting? Oh, Hungarian hot wax. These are delicious. Yeah. Go ahead Part and cut those Part of your seed collection, two. right? Um, yes. These are in the pepper seed collection, the spring garden seed collection. Now, I'm not super thrilled with how these peppers are doing right here. I actually think I got them planted out a little bit too early and they got too cold. So I'm probably going to be replacing these with some, a fresh batch of peppers. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is a little bit small, but it's okay. okay. So next to it, are there any peppers on that plant there? Yes, I see one good size one. Oh, that one's kind of dried up. Let's leave that one. We'll save that one for seeds. Okay. Now, the one on the end there, look at those beautiful that? red ones. The one right next door to it. Actually, that one's kind of interesting. Look at that growing upside down. Sometimes yeah. peppers do that. But the plant next to it, that is a cayenne long slim pepper. Ooh, those a look hot. Nice hot pepper. So you're going to want to pick a couple of those because I'm going to want those in my hot salsa. Does it matter which ones? You want to pick these ones, are the hotter ones are going to be the red ones. So just pick a few of them. Okay. We can leave these on the plant. They'll be fine on the plant for a while. Oh, that one. Yep. Beautiful. And these you can actually let dry on the plant if you want. They're also very ornamental. You can dry them, hang them up to dry in your kitchen. Um, this plant actually grew all winter long. It overwintered. And then I trimmed it way, way back in the winter time and it grew beautiful brand new leaves and lots and lots of peppers this summer. So you can pick them when they're green if you want to, but the hot ones or the red ones will be hotter. I think that'll be good for our salsa. Come on over here and let's see what we got in this planter. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is going to be a treat. I think we might just throw some strawberries in our salsa just to see how it tastes. There are tons of strawberries ready to harvest in our strawberry crate tower. Would they you look, look at good. those? They look really good. Those look amazing. Can you smell them? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good out here, you guys. It does. So strawberries okay. are ready to harvest when they're a nice bright red color. Like that? Snip, it, snip away. My harvest basket is getting heavy. You can put those in the, in the red basket there. There you go. I got it. Thanks. 
Oh, those are so pretty. Let me know if you're growing fresh strawberries, if you're growing them in a tower, if you're growing them in ground, and how you like to eat them. Nothing says summer more than berries, in my opinion. Beautiful. A little something on there. Do we have any around the other side? I smell these. Oh my goodness, oh my here. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. So good. It's just pure. It's so good. Check on the top. Okay. See if we have any on the top there. That one looks a little small. Oh, there's I see something. On the front. Yep, I see a couple. Okay, let's check and see if they're ripe. This one has a little bit of white near okay. the top still, so I would. You know what? Let's go ahead. Get permission I think first before I cut it. <laughs> good choice. That was a good recovery. <laughs> it's mostly ripe. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one of my favorite projects of the summer. We redid this planter and got like some it. beautiful peppers and tomatoes growing. Yeah, I really love it too. I love the bright splashes of color we have. My uh, color choices were red, yellow, and purple. So here we have a yellow sweet banana. Would you look at the size of this pepper? Isn't this absolutely beautiful? And I love how it looks with this red ladder trellis. So we're gonna go ahead and snip that. This is a sweet banana. Can add a lot of great flavor to our salsa. Oh my goodness, look how pretty it looks next to the orange one. So beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I'm so excited about this purple pepper. Let me know if you're growing peppers of different colors. One reason I love growing peppers is there's so many different colors, shapes, and sizes. This is a purple bell. And this changed color so quickly. You might have seen my picture on Instagram where it was just getting striped purple. And it changed to full purple probably within about two days. Now in this center planter here, we have the Sweet 100 tomato. It is really living up to his name. These tomatoes come on in trusses. Would you look at how beautiful these trusses are? Nice and shiny. Yeah, they are. These are green, but we have a whole bunch of red ones. Oh, Jerry, yeah. I think you've back got here. some back here. There's some in the front. So we're just gonna start picking these. These okay. are gonna be so tasty in our salsa. We've already been harvesting off these for a couple of weeks. This plant oh. is absolutely loaded down. This is Those hard. are nice and ripe. That's okay. Oh, shoot. That's Sorry. That's all right. These are all. You make it look so easy. Tomatoes actually will ripen up off the vine. You can put them in a paper bag, green ones in a paper bag, or ones that aren't quite ripe in a paper bag. And um, the paper bag will help them ripen up. All the ethylene gases, I believe that's what they're called, um, will get trapped in the paper bag and help them ripen. Now in just a moment, I'm gonna go around to the back of this planter and we're gonna harvest some hot peppers. We've got a couple beautiful ones to harvest up front here. Another beautiful purple bell pepper. Oh my goodness, these are quickly becoming one of my favorite peppers of the season. So pretty. Now right next to it, my first year growing these beautiful cherry bombs. These are just such a fun pepper to grow. It does have a heat to it, kind of a mild, Mild heat, not super, super hot, but I just think they are so beautiful. And they're ripe when they're nice and bright and red. What a fun pepper to grow. Here you go, guys, the wow. cherry bomb. Those are gorgeous. There's a lot more green ones coming on here. So I have high hopes that this plant will also be very, very productive. We have got one of the biggest jalapeno peppers I have ever, ever seen. I don't know if you guys like bacon wrapped poppers, but I sure do. So I don't know if this one will go in salsa or if we'll save it for later. You see that one, Jerry? Yes. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful jalapeno. Jalapenos have a very mild heat and they will be perfect probably even for you, Jerry, in a mild salsa. Okay, I'll cut it. I'm gonna have you go ahead and cut that. And you guys might notice um, I've been using tree branches and twine a lot this summer, yeah. which is what I'm using to support that pepper plant with. It's working really well so far. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Go ahead and add that one to our harvest basket. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Now there is one other one right oh, here. It smells nice and hot too. It's a little bit smaller. Okay, yeah, that one's a little bit smaller. Now a lot of people ask me when do I pick my peppers. Now I like to pick them, this is a nice big one. That one's a little bit too small, so I okay. would let that one size up a little bit more. So give that a couple more weeks to come to size and then we'll give that a harvest as well. Now, Jerry, before you yeah. come out of that planter, mm. look at these poblanos right here. Yes. Oh my gosh, those are so beautiful. Now, if you notice, I haven't quite got my twine wound around my tree branches yet. Right. So be really careful because the stems do break very easily. Okay. There's some beautiful poblanos that are ready to harvest here. So just go ahead and- Oh, I'm gonna cut the these? Stem. Yeah, okay. those are gonna be great. 
the larger, I think there's three there that we can go I ahead and see, harvest. And look at the fun shape of these. These are really fun to make chili rianos out of. And actually, when they're dried, they're called anchos. But right now, green on the stem, they are called poblanos. Beautiful. There are just a massive amount of blackberries here. Oh my goodness, would you look at these? These are humongous. Now you know blackberries are ripe when they pull very, very easily from the plant. And they're that deep black color. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look at all these blackberries. Yeah, they are gorgeous. What a harvest. Gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I think we're ready to make our garden fresh salsa. Oh, that sounds really good. I think Max liking it too. We have worked hard out here harvesting our vegetables. Okay. Now it's time to eat, but first yes. we're going to make ourselves a refreshing drink. So we're going to make ourselves a blackberry strawberry Ooh. spritzer, and I'm going to have you wash okay. the blackberries. Sounds good. Just going to throw them in this little strainer here. Just need a couple for our spritzer. A couple strawberries. A little bit of mint. You got a garden hose over there, so you want to give those a good spray with the garden hose. This is so easy to make. You want to wash your fruits and vegetables first, of course, and your herbs. Looks good. Let's shake them out there. And we're just going to add a couple of berries to each glass. So grab whatever berries and herbs you have in your garden, but mint and blackberries go really well. So three berries and maybe one strawberry in each glass. There you go. Beautiful. Looks so, mm -hmm. so yummy. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good. And I'm going to set this aside. We're going to grab some of our mint leaves. Now to take mint off the stem, what I like to do is hold it at the top and then just kind of slide your hands down so it slides the mint right off the stem. And you can throw some in each glass. That one, let's oh, try a different one. That, that one's one, not right? looking too great here. Yeah. Just want to try this one. Slide your hands down there, pull all the mint leaves off the stem. There you go. Oops. And then what we're going to do is do something called muddling. So we're just going to, it's just basically smashing the, all the flavors together. You want to smash the mint up a little bit so that it releases the oils. So we're just going to kind of smash it down in the glass here. Oh my gosh, look at that blackberry juice, strawberry juice. Oh my goodness, you can smell the mint too. Oh so I'm going to let I'll you do, do that, that to your glass. Okay. And you can use a wooden spoon for this or just a regular spoon if you don't have a muddler. And this is a kid-friendly drink, but you can also make it into adult beverage, but we're doing a kid-friendly drink tonight. How's that? Looks good. Okay. And I'm going to add some ice to the cup. It's going to taste so good after, after harvesting out here in the garden. Whoops. It does look good. And then we're just going to add some sparkling water. So here we have some berry sparkling water. Use whatever flavor you like. You can use plain, lime. There's even a cucumber mint that would be really good. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Coming so, in hot. Coming in hot here. It's going to be nice and refreshing. Oh my goodness. Look at that color. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll let you fill your glass up. So pretty. That is. I love that sizzle. And you might even want to add a little garnish on top. A little mint garnish. Oh yeah, and a little trick a friend taught me. In fact, our friend Dana who's filming for us. If you slap your herbs, it releases the oils and you can smell it. Oh, it'll put a little bit of flavor of that into your drink. There you go. Works great with basil, mint. Isn't that mm. amazing? Yes. Huh. Never knew that. And then I like to top it with a, another little bit of fruit. I'm going to top mine with one of our washed blackberries. We've got a washed strawberry here that you can top yours okay. with. Oh my god. Can we get to have some now? Yes. We worked hard. We deserve it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Smells delicious. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So, so Look good. We just need some salsa to go with it, don't you think? Yes. Now for our garden fresh salsa. This is actually a pico de gallo, which is like a raw salsa. 
So we're gonna wash up our veggies. Got Why don't it. we pick a nice, beautiful orange golden jubilee, one of our solar fires, and some of our cherry tomatoes here, the large red cherry and the sweet 100s. That should do it. And we do need to pick out a couple of peppers. So we'll pick out, how about a sweet one for you? Sure. The purple pepper is gonna add a beautiful color to the salsa. A couple okay. hot ones though. Let's do a poblano. And maybe we'll do like half a jalapeno. That's going to be a nice. Oh, wait, what about our cayenne? Ooh. Uh oh. That's going to be yummy. Okay, Jerry, if you can go ahead and wash those up. We'll do half of that one and we'll grill the rest of Whoa. it tomorrow. You know what I also forgot, you guys? I picked this off camera since we don't have cilantro. Usually, cilantro will go in salsa. This is a Thai basil, which is a little, little bit of a spicy kind of basil. So, we're going to add that in place of cilantro. So, just make do with whatever you have in the garden. I'm going to give that a quick little rinse. That's the wonderful thing when you're growing organic vegetables. There you go, thank you. When you're growing vegetables is you just kind of make do with what you have and make it work with whatever flavors you have available. So let's first chop up our tomatoes. I've got my little tomato knife. It has that little notch in the top, which is pretty handy for chopping up tomatoes. You don't have to have that, but you definitely want to have a knife with a serrated edge. This is pretty handy. We're cutting around the top there to get the core out. I'm going to compost anything that we don't use in our salsa. So we'll set that aside. I'm just going to chop up this tomato. Fresh salsa is so easy to make. There's a billion different ways you can make it. This is just one of my favorites because it's so quick and easy. It just tastes so much better. So I would love to hear your salsa recipes. There's so many different recipes out there. It's really fun to get new ideas. We'll scoop that right into the bowl. That's great. Let's go for the ju golden jubilee now. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is such a beautiful tomato. I am just gonna cut the top right off of this and then show you guys how pretty it looks on the inside. Look at that color. Let me cut a couple slices. Oh my that goodness. That is an incredible color. The flavor of homegrown mm -hmm. and the orange tomatoes are the sweetest. Mm. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. So, so good. That's incredible. These little baby cherries are going to be super easy to chop and throw in the salsa. These are so much fun just for garden snacking. Ooh, there you go. Do. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead. Right in the garden. Mm. Oh my mm. gosh. Incredible. Oh my gosh. We're going to put everything but the peppers in. We'll do that last. Okay. And I forgot to have you wash up these chives. So if you could go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and chop up the Thai basil. It's going to be a different flavor than cilantro. Mm -hmm. It sometimes Thai basil. Some people think it tastes like black licorice. Yes, has a really mild. I did get a hint of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you smell it, has a really mild black licorice smell. Scissors are so much easier, I think, to chop up herbs and mm -hmm. the knife sometimes, and it doesn't have to be real small. We're going to give this a stir, and then we're going to separate this into two different bowls and add our peppers. This is sea salt. I'm going to give that a grind of pepper there, fresh ground pepper. And we're also going to add, this is one of my favorite seasonings, Trader Joe's 21 Seasoning Salute. It has all kinds of fun stuff in here, cumin, onion powder, paprika. Let's go ahead and add our lime in. We're going to divide our pico de gallo into two separate bowls, one for mild, one for spicy. It's so hard at... not to nibble while you harvest <laughs> and while you get your vegetables sure prepped. Sure is. Now for the fun part, we are going to add uh, some peppers. Escamillo, Escamillo pepper. Beautiful pepper. What a gorgeous pepper. I think we're just going to add half of it and save the other half maybe for grilling tomorrow. This is gonna be a beautiful pepper on the grill. Look at that. Slice this and dice it. Gonna add one half to the mild, one half to the hot, so we both get a little bit of it. Then we'll do the purple pepper. This is a gorgeous pepper. Oh my. And that's one reason why your garden fresh veggies have so much more flavor is because you pick them at the peak of ripeness. Now for the hot peppers. Mm. Now, really important when you're cutting hot peppers, you guys, make sure that you wear gloves because if you don't, your hands are going to be burning and you will be sorry. 
if you touch your eyes or anything like that, it's gonna be a bummer. So we're gonna get these gloves on. I'm gonna take out the seeds and the membranes to help take out some of the heat from the pepper. Now this cayenne, wish me luck on this one. It's small but mighty. I think I'm just gonna slice it right in, not even bother taking the seeds out. So I might regret it, but we're gonna go for it. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. I'm gonna add another little squeeze of lime just for Ooh. good measure. Mm -hmm. Oof, oh, 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 yum, yum, yum. And I will say off camera that I did have a couple of chips. Looks like Max having a few too. <laughs> okay, I dropped some. A little more salt and pepper. Yes. <laughs> just yes. for good measure. And again, customize this to what you like, add the spices mm -hmm. you like. We've even added avocado in ours before, which is really good. Okay, are we ready for the taste test? Yes. We've got our drinks, just in case yep. we need them. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've been filming for two and a half hours now, so this is looking so it's good. looking really good. This is a long shoot today. Oh my goodness, garden fresh in every bite. Tomato, pepper, Thai basil. Mmm. <laughs> mm. oh, I love it with the Thai basil. It's so good. Okay, here goes mine. The flavors just explode in your mouth. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. You guys. Garden so much flavor. Fresh. I don't, just so much flavor. I don't think I got a hot pepper in there though. I'm gonna see if I can find one. I'm gonna scoop you guys up some here. You guys seeing that, how good that is? Oh my gosh. And here I got one with a little cayenne pepper on it. So I'm gonna be brave and give that a go. Wish me luck, guys. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be spicy. You're braver than me. Ooh, it's hot. Really? It is hot. <laughs> Ooh, glad I Definitely didn't. hot. Oh, you're going to be all right? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I stay on the safe side of the hot peppers. Hope you guys enjoyed our Garden Fresh harvest of organic tomatoes and peppers and making Garden Fresh salsa. I wish you guys could be here to share this with us, mm -hmm. but we'll share with you on video as well. Mm -hmm. So let us know what you're harvesting. Let us know what you're making from your garden grocery store. Wow. Yeah, this was fun. It's really fun. All right, cheers. Cheers. And cheers to you too. Bye-bye, we'll see you in the next video.